Is I am to tell you this and I am to tell you it is fiction a work of fiction? Hmm, that is an interesting question. Uh, the title would imply that it's not, um, but it's a tough call because uh, it unfolded in me, uh, this so-called knowledge, um, you know, sort of the big reveals that happen toward the end, they unfolded in me in the same complete way that truth does. Um, that after uh, having gone through the various spiritual, let's call them processes, for lack of a better term, that I went through, um, well, let's say this. Prior to having the big I am experience, I had a wealth of insights about life, the universe, and everything. Just uh, become me. Because that's what happens when you... Uh, I mean, all of this is covered in... Between urgency and this book, it's all covered. So if you don't know what I'm talking about... Um, Check it out. <laughs> but just briefly, uh, when you are emptied of the content of the self, essentially when the self dissolves, um, there's a moment of silence, of nothingness. And in that moment of silence, nothingness, truth becomes you. And uh, th that is a multifaceted thing. And one of the facets of that is truths, you know, so how life works. Um, the universal insights that uh, we you've probably seen <laughs> elsewhere, you know, in various religious contexts or even your own parents just teaching you stuff. Well, that comes from somewhere that that any sense of how things are, what goodness is and what rightness is, um, it all comes to you. Uh, and suddenly it sound, you start talking as though you've studied the greats um, of philosophy and religion, and you haven't. It just is you. So this came to me in the same way that that did, sort of, boom, here it is in its entirety. And I just, uh, I didn't know what to do with it. And I talked about it a little bit on um, my podcast, The Experience, just in terms of saying, this happened... I think I'm going to write it out. I don't know what's, I'm, how I'm going to present this, but, well, this is how I'm presenting it. So, is it a work of fiction? I mean, there's a lot of autobiographical stuff in there, and that stuff is all true. And um, some news article stuff, and that stuff is true. Um, but the actual uh, claim of knowing how reality works in minute detail um, and all that I lay out there at the end, or all that gets laid out there, I should say, at the end, um, that came to me in a flash. And so it's, it's much like anything else in the realm of spirit or uh, this type of knowledge, even, unless you experience it directly, you don't know that it's true. You can guess at it, you can believe in it, you can discard it, you can disbelieve it, but you can't know unless you've experienced it. And I think this falls into that category, the category of even I can understand it intellectually. So it comes to me as an intellectualism, as an explanation. And, uh, and even I can't know really that it's true until I die again, <laughs> my sense of self, and until I let go again for the first time. Um, and then we'll see what's what, right? So until such time as that happens, um, I can't know. But it's really interesting, I think. It's really interesting stuff, and I haven't seen it put this way. And so what's the point if it's, I mean, still a mystery? The point is that with all of these things that I mentioned before, you know, from archetypes to aliens to d dimensionality to reincarnation. I mean, reincarnation, I didn't think I'd be writing about reincarnation, but here I am. So all of these things that we think we have pegged as either a disbeliever or a true believer, um, what has gotten lost is the fact that it, these are all unknowns. They may be unknowable, but they're definitely unknowns. And so we're, we're better serving ourselves and the truth of these topics by uh, treating them that way, by thinking deeply about them, by trying to get some kernel of truth in there, rather than saying we've already got it. 
um, in, in treating this multi-dimensional topic of, of alien abductions, what we call alien abductions, which are, I would argue, neither alien nor abduction, but we treat them as though they're cardboard cutouts of themselves, that they're two-dimensional, right? These are alien doctors doing blah, 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 or these are space brothers and sisters, or these are hallucinations and misidentifications and fantasy proneness, you know, go down the list of things people say they know <laughs> and you know it it doesn't none of them fit or fit totally and so what's wrong with treating them with the seriousness and the depth that they deserve and when i say seriousness that doesn't mean i'm not making jokes because that's part of seriousness uh humor and seriousness go hand in hand they are not mutually exclusive so all of this being the case in interviews, uh, I'm assuming I'll be doing interviews about this book. Um, you can look forward to me saying awkward things like, uh, well, in the book, what the book says, I'll be talking about what the book says more than what I believe, because I think the book speaks for itself. And I, I haven't done that with any other book I've written. Um, you know, I like to pontificate about things and whatever, but I feel like, no, this is what the book says, how it says it. Um, let's, let's frame any dialogue that way, because, again, it's, it's still a mystery even to me. What is fact and what is fiction about what I'm writing because of the way it unfolded in me. It unfolded from a place of, um, well, instantaneous, that instantaneous, there it is, sincerity. Um, but is it? I can't know, at least not now. <laughs>